And we begin with some very sad news tonight. Bill Bonds, our longtime colleague here at Action News, and one of the true legends of the broadcasting business has died. Billy suffered a heart attack at his home this afternoon at around 4.15. I was a bit of a pistol, uh, very curious, um, very Irish. What does that mean, very Irish? Well, not looking for trouble, but uh, mischievous, you know, and uh, had a lot of leadership ability that always didn't lead the right way. As one of six kids in his family, Bill Bonds recalled the lessons of growing up in a tight-knit neighborhood on 12th Street. There was also taught, uh, don't back off. Don't let anybody bully you. And once you learn the one thing that a bully is afraid of, which is bullies are afraid of somebody who's not afraid of them, you, I think, make a conscious and unconscious decision that authority figures must prove themselves before you give them the authority they demand. And that lesson would become the inspiration for some of the most riveting interviews Detroit has ever seen. His questions had a way of making authority figures squirm. Okay, okay your conduct was great. You all, you guys all look terrific. <laughs> uh, 100, 250 million Americans are really proud of uh, Senator Orrin Hatch and all the rest of you guys. Well, you you so did a marvelous that. job. We're all proud of you. From an early age, it seems Bill was destined to become a journalist. Well, I loved reading. I could read before I was in kindergarten. Very curious, very, I guess, precocious. Uh, acquisitive, inquisitive. I remember setting up teachers, um, pretending that I was looking out the window, daydreaming, and I'd already read the page. And, uh, they would ask me to read, and I'd pick it up. I have a remarkable memory. And I was forever asking the question, why? He worked his way through college at the University of Detroit, then made a name for himself in radio. But in the 1960s, another spotlight caught his eye. I could see that television was where it was at. And uh, I mean, I never studied anything in college or in high school that had anything to do with telecommunications. And uh, I finally auditioned uh, and got somebody to listen at uh, Channel 7. And of course, it was a 50-minute newscast. And I typed it. And Bill Fife said it was the best audition I'd ever seen. And it was easy for me. I mean, I never, in fact, television was easier for me than radio was because I, I, I don't really have a great voice. I mean, I didn't have a great radio voice. But you supplement voice with, I think, animation, uh, with your performing skills, and with your ability somehow, which uh, allows you to connect with people you can't see. And boy, could he connect. It was his coverage of the 1967 Detroit riots that made him and Channel 7 the ones to watch. Oh, yeah, I think it was the defining moment of my career. But it was also a defining moment for, I think at the time, was the finest uh, major market television news department in the country that was putting on the finest television news program. New York and L.A. would lure him away, but not for long. Bill always came back home to Detroit and explained why with his humble sense of humor. Terrible political situation in L.A. I mean, that's, you know, Rin Tin Tin was more important than Walter Cronkite. What is a serious, gifted, humble, handsome, articulate, perspicacious anchorman for Detroit? What chance does he have in a cesspool like L.A.? Always at, a, always at a loss for words, of course. Bill Bonds, never at a loss for words. True legend of our business. Sadly, we lost him today. Suffered a heart attack at home. His wife, Karen, was there. Happened around 4.15 this afternoon. Billy been, spent so many years here at Channel 7. So many of those years at the anchor desk with Diana Lewis, another legend of our business. Diana is joining us on the phone now. Diana, this news for all of us comes uh, as a tremendous shock, doesn't it? It certainly does. Good evening to you, Dave, and to our audience. We are deeply saddened. It does come as a shock. We know that Billy hasn't been well for maybe a few years, but of course, whenever it happens, it's devastating. But I'm just at rest, at peace knowing that Karen was there with him. I love her dearly, and that he did not suffer. 
He meant so much to me as he did to the entire community. A master news anchor. He had the ingredients that everybody loved to watch on TV. He was intelligent. He was challenging. He was exciting. He knew how to be on television. And everything that he did, he did for the people. Bill Bonds was a community person. I'm honored to have been the first lady to work with Bill Bonds in the news. He shaped my career. He helped mold my career. He influenced my person, my woman. Yeah. I learned a lot from Bill Bonds. I love him dearly. My heart is with his family. I love each and every one of them. And to the community in Detroit, it's going to be a great loss to be without Bill Bonds. But we have gained so much from his presence, his interviews, the time and the money he invested into the Detroit community. I'm saddened tonight, but I feel blessed because Bonds will be in heaven watching over us. He will be watching over us, Diane, and he's played such an influential role in so many events that have happened uh, in this city, you know, from the riots on and, and the influence that he had on careers. You mentioned the influence he had for you. Not always maybe the easiest guy to work with, but boy, he had your back, didn't he? It's just like having a father at home. Not always the easiest pill to swallow when dad says no, or it should be this way. But once you swallow that pill or take on that direction, you find out it was the best way. That's how I describe Bill Bonds. Not always the easiest pill to swallow when he was talking to me or giving a lesson. <laughs> I tell you, at 71 years of age, it was all good. Yeah. I learned a lot from him, and I feel so special and honored and proud to have been a part of his life, and for him to have been a part of mine. Yeah. A Detroiter through and through, and uh, you know, we, he came back to us here at Broadcast House so many times. You know, the reunions and other events, uh, inducted into Hall of Fames. Uh, you know, a, a career that uh, few have experienced, certainly, and the likes of which I, I don't know that we'll ever see again in our business, frankly. Oh, I, I agree with you, Dave. That's why I refer to him as the master news anchor. There's so much we can think about and just have laughter about. The time that he, Don Shane put on his 2K and we <laughs> came on the air. There were times, Dave, when I was on the floor. People at home would be surprised how I could not stop laughing a lot of times working with Billy, only to do with stories, of course, that were humorous. Yeah. And it was just a joy to me, such a lesson. I can't even explain the monumental lessons I learned with Bill Bonds from Bill Bonds, alongside Bill Bonds. He showed me respect. Well, I demanded respect yeah. because I gave respect, and he gave me that. No matter what, yeah. he gave me that respect, and that's what I'll keep in my heart yeah. forever. And, and I got I to gotta tell you the, the personal story. Last year during the Lions season when they were, were struggling, Diane, I got a call on a Sunday afternoon in the newsroom, and it was Billy, and he says, if I was going on the air tonight, this is what I would say about the Lions. <laughs> <laughs> he, 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 he was always ready with a suggestion. And, you know, to his last day, he still felt, right, that he should be on this anchor desk delivering the news to Detroiters. The last time we spoke, not that long ago. He said, Dean, we've got to get back on. Maybe we can do a five-minute newscast. I said, you got it. I'm, sign me up. I'm ready. <laughs> Billy loves it. He's, and such an entertainer. And he absolutely did it his way. Frank Sinatra, oh, one of his star people. And he would, you remember, Davey had put that hat on and pulled that raincoat on and oh, turned yeah. the car up. And he would sing the song and snap his fingers. And t let me tell you. There's not a brother out there who could outdance Bill Bonds, okay? Bill uh, knew what to do. <laughs> absolutely. Diana, he did it his way. Bill he, Bonds, really, I can say it to you, Billy, you really did do it your way. He did And indeed. we love you. Boy. We loved him indeed. And, uh, and we mourn his passing today. Diana, thank you so much for the remembrances, for the special stories about Bill Bonds. Uh, we'll get a few more later tonight as well. But uh, we lost Billy today at the age of 81. We lost Billy. Suffered a heart attack at uh, 415 this afternoon at his home. Uh, Diana, thank you so much. The pleasure is mine. God bless you, Dave Llewellyn, and God bless Bill Bonds. Thank you, Diana. Diana Lewis, Bill Bonds' longtime partner here on the anchor desk at Action News. We're lining up uh, others who have worked with Billy, worked for Billy, uh, and have uh, remembrances and stories as well of this special man. But again, repeating our breaking news. 
Uh, Bill Bonds, longtime anchor here at 7 Action News, passed away today at the age of 81. You heard